Yes, hello. How are you? What are you having there? Just advertising the new apartment in Okahanja, just here under the building. I just received a pamphlet here at the mall for apartments for rent here in Okahanja. And I was hoping if I could schedule an appointment with you to come and view them. Today, how are you? Very come well, in. Thank you. Oh, welcome to the cheapest and affordable accommodation <laughs> in Okahanja. I'm so excited. My client is coming to view this property. I think it is perfect and it suits him just fine. So as soon as he gets here, I'm going to have an amazing surprise for him. And definitely today, we're going to sort him out. I was renting a two-bedroom apartment for $8,000. Renting in Winduk, it's very, it's not easy. It's not an easy thing, I can say. In between Vinduk and Akahanja, there is another development happening. That is Osona Village. We realize there is an opportunity for people to be able to afford a house at the same price as what they are renting currently. We're going to jump into property education with Dr. Yako, who's going to highlight the benefits of buying a property in a smaller town as opposed to big towns like Vinduk. It's possible to own your own house at the same, at, at the same rates that you, would, that you would rent for. We're going to go inside and quickly have a look around. We're letting you in. Some of our clients want us to move the house forward so that they want to have a big open back space yard. at the back. Uh -huh. Again, because it's plot and plan, okay. you tell us from the start what you would like to do and we, 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 do, we do it accordingly. Uh -huh. Welcome to Property Menu, your one-stop shop for all things property. Last week we visited Okahanja and we were able to see what Okahanja has to offer in terms of accommodation. This time around we're finding ourselves in the capital city of Vinduk. My name is Wala Bwalia and we have a jam-packed show for you today. So stay tuned, we'll be back right after this. The Property Menu, NBC TV, Property Magazine offers a wide variety of information, news and education. Whether your interest lies in buying, selling, or in making your house more cozy and classy. If it's home financing services you're interested in, or you're simply looking to increase the value of your property, the property menu is sure to expertly deliver. Welcome back. So last week we found ourselves that is in Okahanja where we checked out Bridge Park and uh, we got to see what the apartment offers. We even got a tenant, an apartment over there. This time around, we're finding ourselves in Commerce, that is in Vinduk right here at Commerce Valley Hills, where we're about to check out what this establishment has to offer. The manager is expecting us, so let's go inside and let's see. Yes, hi, please come in. Hi, good day. Yes, good day, sir. How, How are, are you doing? doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you, brother? Ah, oh, very well. Pleased to meet you. Please have a seat. Thank you very much. So, how can I help you today? All right, sir. So, we, were, uh, we actually drove around and we All saw right. these apartments and uh, we wanted to showcase exactly what you have to offer here so that everybody in Namibia can know exactly what Commerce Hill has to offer. All right. So, tell me, what exactly is happening here? All right. So, currently in Windhoek, we have the cheapest rentals right now in the market. We offer state-of-the-art finishings for all our units. You get countertops, granite countertops, you have beautiful finishings, you have modern cupboards and a modern unit. So as I was arriving at Commerce Hill, I was immediately impressed to see one of their safety features. There is absolutely no way you're gonna enter this complex based on the security guard that they have, as well as all the numbers involved into punching yourself into the complex. And once I was in, I saw immediately how clean it is. Interlocked everywhere, extremely spacious, a lot of parking for all tenants and although there's so many apartments here actually they're able to accommodate everybody because the parking space is ample and definitely very very clean for our day visitors this is what we have so residents use that entrance over there and that exit our day visitors use this guy over here so for example you have a brother a sister a cousin who stays in one of these units you then just dial one of you dial the unit number. Mm -hmm. Once you dial the unit number, you have two options. So whoever one who's there, you choose who to call. The system calls. So your system would call. What you do is then you answer your phone. Q 
keypad press 9, the gate opens up. Mm -hmm. So the system then generates a five-digit code, mm -hmm. which you then punch out on the exit gate once you've already gained entry. So every time you get a new code, it generates a new code with every entry. So how about if you're not at home? Are you able to open it, say you're in town and you, somebody is visiting you? You can open it from anywhere. As long as you're in Namibia, given that you're up north, down <laughs> south in the coast, you can always give someone entry into the building. All with the comfort of your phone. All with the comfort of your phone. Yes, sir. Perfect. Apart from that, you also get a very beautiful unit. They are not furnished, but you get two bedrooms, you get a spacious, a spacious toilet, you get a very spacious kitchen too, and you have your DSTV that is already ready, and you have access to internet. So all in all, once you move inside here, everything is already set up for you, and it's not a big hassle for you. You can just come in and you're good to go. Is it possible that we could perhaps take a look at one of your showrooms? Yes, just to I see have what one it has to open, which I can show you. Thank you so much. Yes. Come. Thank you. This way. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so this is our, one of our units. Okay. This is a corner unit. We have two different types of, of layouts mm -hmm. on each floor. So you have a corner unit and a middle unit. Okay. The nice thing about our units are, like I mentioned, state-of-the-art finishings. Mm -hmm. You have very beautiful finishings. The yeah. paint is super, very neutral colors. Mm -hmm. So you have a, an amazing window with yeah. letting a lot of natural <laughs> light and yeah. you know warmth. Mm -hmm. in winter winter mornings like this yeah so we also the, the beautiful thing about our apartments is we have a lot of electric points okay. for all your electric devices mm -hmm. we've also made provision for your dstd your dstv decoder okay so it's just plug and play awesome you have an account with dstv you come in today you plug it in you're good to go okay. we've also made provision for wi-fi oh so we're just awesome. with telecom are starting this week so hopefully by the end of this month we'll have the awesome. whole place full of fiber Currently, we have in phase one and phase two, we have 216 units, mm -hmm. of which we're still busy with phase four, three and four, of which we'll have a total of plus minus 400 units. We've eliminated balconies to create space for a bigger living area. Okay. That's what I mean. We also ask tenants, right? Yeah. How many times do you actually use a balcony? Yeah. Hardly <laughs> ever. You come out in the morning, say good morning to you, you come back. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of wasted space. Okay. Whereas we've given you a big enough area over here, which you can utilize. Mm -hmm. We also have a wonderful kitchen. Mm -hmm. So we have a kitchen that can accommodate a fridge. Mm -hmm. We have granite tops to accommodate hot plates. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of cupboard space also and a window for ventilation. As you can see, all our units are also fitted with LED lights. Mm -hmm. So that saves you a lot on your electricity also. Okay. Now, I'm very particular when it comes to looking at finishing touches of any apartment or any property for that matter. And looking at the tiling, the roofing, the lights, the cupboards, everything in these apartments is definitely top-notch and very modern. I must say, I'm very, very impressed. Commerce Hill exceeding every expectation so your main bedroom is big enough to accommodate a double size double bed mm -hmm. a king size and a queen size bed mm -hmm. again beautiful big window mm -hmm. to let in a lot of natural light mm -hmm. you have two built-in cupboards over here to accommodate a lot of clothing <laughs> a <And> lot <laughs> yes and storage <laughs> at the top the ladies usually complain it's not a lot, but the gentlemen are very happy with this. <laughs> it's very sufficient. Yes. First things first, we need to address them, the housing crisis that we have currently. Second thing is property prices and rental prices have gone up. And landlords in most cases have kept their prices still up top. Whereas we come through and we've literally lowballed everyone and we have the cheapest prices right now. Not only that, when you move in here, we only offer, you only pay your deposits. So we give you a month rent fee. So when you move in, you pay your deposit. Come the following month is when you start paying your rent. Unlike the other guys where you have to pay rent and deposit in the first month and then still pay for the following months, which becomes a bit of a financial hassle in our current economy and what has been happening around the world right now with COVID-19. With a place for your washing machine, all of them are fitted with this floating shelf just for additional storage space. Okay. You also have a little open vanity that closes and opens. Mm -hmm. 
for digital stuff and this is your shower basically. Yeah. So all of them fitted with aerators, so your flow of water is, you save a lot of water. Yeah. Per shower you save around about 60 liters. Is it? As, yeah, other than the normal conventional guys. Same on your taps, same mm -hmm. also in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Yes. What are the price ranges that so for your So the price apartment? ranges, our ground floor units go for 6.3, mm -hmm. our first floor units go for 6.1, Second units, our second floor units go for 5.8. We have a third floor in phase two. Those went for 5.5, but we are currently all sold out. Those wow. are our best sellers. Wow, amazing. So clearly we can see that you guys are looking forward to killing the property market exactly. right here in Vigo. The we're, prices we're. are really good. I'd like to encourage everybody out there, if you're looking for an apartment to stay right here in Vinduk, definitely Commerce Hill is one of the places you should look at. Looking at their rental prices, it's ridiculous. They're basically giving you property for free because it is by far the most affordable I've seen in Vinduk to date. That's us over here. Top of the notch. Thank you very much. Thank you very you much. Yeah, voila. Awesome. Hope you have a wonderful day. Likewise. All right. There you have it, folks. That was Property Tour right here on Property Menu Show. Coming up next, we're heading into property education. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the studio. Today we have Mr. Winfried Holtz with us and he is now going to show us some very exciting ideas of how urban design can be used to make living in town more exciting. Please show us what you have brought to the studio. Okay, Jane. Um, there's one fundamental problem which we have in this country and that, that is uh, the provision that uh, plots may not be lower, smaller than 300 square meters. So what I've done, I have made a model of to demonstrate that the 300 square meters is some figure, somebody thought of, which um, is really not conducive to our environment and to our uh, urban building uh, uh, force for us here in Namibia. So I made a model model of this, and to demonstrate, um, this is now a 300 square meters plot. Uh, 24 meters by 12 and a half meter and if I put an NHE house on it I've, I've built a model of an NHE house I just extended it with a garage now this NHE house is the Pelican plan uh, which is a standard uh, NHE pr uh, um, design um, and the thing is on this one plot in our regulation it is also such that this plot is zoned residential and we may only have residential on, a, on an earth like this because we have zoning uh, regulations. That is correct. And um, so what the NHE is doing, they, they, they give you this plot, you have to pay for, for this earth and you have to pay for this house. And all you get, all what you may do is put the house in the middle of a plot and then you have all of this space around it. So what I've done is uh, I've taken the same plot and I can show that imagine now we take over 300 square meters then on top of that you build a story which accommodates a office say um, which is also conducive for, for income for the property but uh, the, the actual advantage of it is you build the building over the pavement so in other words, you're actually creating a space underneath the building for the public to walk in, in the shade or, you know, if it rains, they're not walking in the rain. And then on top of that, you build your own dwelling, which would be, say, a two-bedroom flat um, or two-bedroom house, which you have here as well. And is that exactly the same That is exactly the, this, uh, the same as this. So this would be an idea to, to have then another story, which is then your own story. But then the, the next... A, a clue is that you you put a concrete slab on top and you use the top of a slab as a green area 
So what you're actually gaining is all of this green, which, by, which you are losing basically on this earth, you have again here on top. You can have your jacuzzi there, you can have your bride there, you can, if you have small children, they protect it up here. Now, if, if I say it is 100 square meters, and I say, um, what happens if, if I have another unit next to it, which looks like that's something like same, this. That's the same earth. It's the same earth. And I have another unit, also 100 square meters, a different design, I made it a different model, so it, just to demonstrate that it is maybe a different owner who wants something different. And then I, I completed the, the earth and I made it three, three 100 square meter dwellings, which are, in comparison to this, far more effective. This kind of mixed use is not yet uh, clear in our country. So, um, you know, one has to rezone it in a, t a different type of way and all that kind of uh, legal constraints, also the height and the, uh, the, the coverage on the, on the property, uh, the bulk on the property, all of those things are not uh, legal here. Whilst this is being done all over the world, especially in third world countries, uh, South America, India, Vietnam, this is the model which they're doing. And we think we are rich and we are different. We, um, uh, we need to have this, and that is very much unsustainable. So. Well, <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Winfried. I hope that some of you who are listening at home uh, take up some of these ideas and maybe try to think of ways that we can, can use this in, in our environment. And let us know on, on Facebook what you think about it. We're looking forward to your comments. And don't forget to stay tuned for next week for the next episode of our property market. So it's not easy to put things together in your home and most times it requires that you might bring in a professional to assist you. This is our DIY section where we show you how you can do it yourself. Stay tuned. stuff but the details didn't really like come out as matching so but still I'm not saying her choices of items were very wrong no 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 I just think um, she chose a bit of more of bulk bulky stuff so it made the place very um, or seem very very small so what I went through as you have seen from the previous pics um, I had my notebook with me so I was now taking down what should get out and what I can bring in that has less volume let's say they're not seem very very bulky so I've I've actually started with the bed because she spoke of leather and stuff like that so i thought okay that very nice leather bed at clw will definitely do okay everything is from clw you know when you are growing up you have this thing growing in your mind you having your own space you coming bringing things together you know you have that dream your choice of your stuff. I want my house to look like this. I want my room to... I wish I could have a room like this. So you obviously have to start with a bed. Mm -hmm. You can't sleep on the yeah. floor. Or you start with a mattress. When you're a student, doesn't matter. It's so long as you can sleep. And then you think of your kitchen. Two pots are enough when you're a student. <laughs> one for the... <laughs> for the sauce and one for the pasta. That's enough. And 
a television, whether it's big or small, so long as it's communication, you don't really need much. You have the basics. And I love this room color, you know, it's cream and then you have, you have to add white and black, it's kind of get along. So you are basically matching yeah. from what you have done here. Yeah. That's, okay. Okay. Okay, um, so that was Kaino, who were, as you see, her small space. And um, we have come to conclusion of her colors of choices. I've noted down what I think will be of good use in her small space. So um, I think we need to go shopping at CLW. Um, so they're going to help me do the whole magic inside. Okay, uh, we've removed the base, so we're going to bring the one that I chose, which will be right here, and then we're going to use this mattress again. Um, yeah, and then from there we're going to now change this. I like the blind, so I think that will stay. Just the white curtain right here, and then from there, we'll move on to the next, next stage. So, um, so as you can see, we're done. Yeah, which is not really easy, as you've seen the previous pictures, not like this. CLW crew here who have helped me so much with Maria on the other side. She's just going to tell us a bit of what we have done with the curtains. Okay, well, there is a colorful curtain here, so we just removed it and put a plain one so it just looks natural and plain. And then with the beddings, also, we just went with the, with the plain color, which is white. And then a bit of red to complement with the other with the cube. Yeah, because and the, and the, the, the side. The, sorry, the Kaino okay, Kaino herself also spoke about red, so I thought of yeah. And she okay. didn't really want a lot of that. Yeah. So with your idea of the two cushions being red, that was amazing. Yeah, and the bed side. So um Kaino is still at school, I think. She said she's in her way. She was on her way. Yeah. Let me just call her and find out how far she is and then yeah. So we are done. How far how far are you? Oh, outside. Great. She's outside. I really don't want you to see this. I can't wait. But can I'm very excited. Can I, can I, please. Yay! space I've now uh, instead of choosing another color curtain I decided to go with white because just so it does not seem too complicated and also just to blend in with everything else and then um, instead of the bed being on, against the wall like it was before um, I decided to have it this way and then having a one bed side chest 
only and then this side having an ottoman where she can still sit on it and at the same time still use it to put her magazines in or whatnot. And then this side of the TV, as I spoke earlier, the red, I had that in mind. Book, book, bookcase. <laughs> so just to put all of her other stuff inside, which is now, as you can see, there are the books, her picture frames in there, newspapers, teddy bears, CDs are all fitting in very very well and her decoder and all those are on top and then the sound as you can see still it's still there it still looks nice and then the wardrobe I chose a very very small one with a mirror just so it can also just blend in you know not to make it too bulky and at the same time she still has everything that she needs and then the shoe cabinet which is still um, blending in with all her colors white and black <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> so yeah, I chose that. But then I was a bit afraid that maybe it might not fit. But then when we had placed everything in, it looks amazing. And space-wise, it's still spacious. And then the kitchen part, instead of going with the white, the, the, um, the sideboard, the white one that I was having in mind was just a bit too small. And I didn't want the stove to go back on the floor as it was earlier. So I chose then the natural looking one just so it can blend in with everything else and then as you can see her microwave is on it and the stove so it still gives her enough room to do whatever she wants to do. So yeah, that's it. You know, you just have to measure and make sure that everything blends in and make your space your space, not someone else's space. That's it. <laughs> Oh, so you guys now know where my wine glasses are? Yeah, I mean with like all of your stuff, how will we not know where they are? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yay! So, to a very beautiful makeover. Thank you to Property Menu, yeah. So that was it from us, Property Menu. As you can see, a beautiful outcome from something that you would not even have thought of. I'm also surprised myself, but this is what has come out. What a jam-packed show we had for you today. And as you can see, all looking all around me, Vinduk is growing, a lot of expansion happening everywhere, a lot of development. So we'll be showcasing this soon as well to show you exactly what they're doing on the outskirts of Vinduk. In the show today, we had that is a property tour where we got to showcase Commerce Hill Apartments. And I must say, I was very, very, very impressed. At the same time, I'd like to say a big thank you that is to our property education segment, which was very, very insightful and a lot of education coming through. At the same time, our DIY section, we completed that house finally. And I must say, it looked exceptionally beautiful. In case you missed the show, you can always check us out. That is on our social media platforms. On YouTube, you can find us. That is the property menu, as well as on Facebook, the property menu. My name is Wala Bwalia and catch me again next week as we bring you more regarding property. This was Property Menu. <laughs>